So last night, we were passing around notes on what we thought of the markets, uh, Steve and I, with about a dozen professional traders. Uh, these are traders who trade very differently. Some are fundamental traders, some are technical traders, some are quantitative traders, some are long short guys, some are more international guys. The group, the cluster of people was very diverse. And then there's Steve and myself who are intraday traders. And we like to exchange ideas. I actually, I, I really like these guys, including me, in their thought process um, because I get, a, I get a feel for how other people are looking at markets. And one of the amazing things, as you're a little bit more experienced in markets, is how many different ways there are to look at markets. And so I look at markets in a specific way, and that's certainly not the only way to look at markets. It's the way that I look at markets. And one of the things that I need to keep doing is finding ways to be better at the way that I look at markets. And so we were discussing, hey, where do we think the market's going to go from here? And people were giving their ideas based on their expertise. And I'll share with you what I said, which was I'm looking at 215.20 on SPY. I thought it was kind of interesting yesterday that we didn't trade below, we didn't trade above 215.20 on SPY, and yesterday I shared that when we got below 215 on SPY, I started a little bit of a short position against 215.20, and then when we got below 215, 214.75, I added to that position uh, into an up move towards uh, 69 cents and 74 cents-ish, thinking that we would have a, a move down. But, and I share this, but when we got below those levels, I did not see, I did not see confirmation in tick, NYSE tick, which is something that I'll look at. I didn't see very negative tick readings. And as a tape reader, I didn't see weakness on the tape. I didn't see a lot of bid hitting that was uh, different, weaker than I'm used to seeing. And I didn't see move away from price. As a short-term trader, I like to see that. If something's going to be weak or strong, it should move away from price. So when it got below, SPY got below 214.75, it should move away from price more so than it normally does. And I didn't see that. I saw a, a, a rather controlled move to the downside, which can indicate uh, times where you, you, you might reverse a little bit. But I did actually, for the short position, like the way oil was reacting. I'm certainly not rooting for oil to go down, but oil getting below 46 and closing below 46 to me was potentially an opportunity for the market to trade lower. I've said this before, there's been four fundamental reasons why markets have moved lower. One of them has been oil cratering down. A close, if we take a look at our daily charts below 46, particularly over the last four months, is a change, it is, a, is a weaker close for oil and, and that potentially could drag the market down. So my thesis from watching trading last night was I thought we were gonna go down and uh, because of those reasons and then we just didn't. We just didn't. I had a thesis yesterday and it just didn't really play out. And so into the close, I took off my risk because the trade that I thought was gonna be there wasn't really there. Now, I didn't get stopped out per se above 215.20. My resistance area, didn't, I didn't really get stopped out in, but I thought we would trade maybe perhaps down, to, my trade was to, to trade down to 213-ish, maybe 212.50-ish, and that just didn't happen. We had, a, we had one slight down move, and then we came right back up and, and created around that 215-ish area. Um, held above VWAP, that was another negative. So I just cut the positions at the end of the day. And then today we walk in and we, we gap up. Didn't do very much today. Um, we were pretty far away from that 215.20 area, so I didn't really want to put on positions. But I said this to the newer guys in here yesterday uh, when I had put on that short position and wasn't really working. You want to have a thesis. And my thesis was short. We had been up five days very steeply. We were starting to show a little bit of weakness. There were some other indicators with oil that were starting to perhaps help our short position. And I don't, I don't think the market's weak in any way. I just thought the, the next move would be a pullback based on yesterday's action. Market's still very, very strong with a bid in the market every, every down move. But 
that's what I was sort of seeing yesterday. I had that thesis. But it just wasn't confirming. Price wasn't confirming what I was, what I was seeing. I was wrong based on the way I thought the market would go. And the only thing I, my, my job was to cut. And I did. And by being self-aware, I certainly cost myself, I, I kept myself out of walking into a gap up towards 216.50 today. And you know, I also certainly didn't overtrade today because price was, was too far extended. So there are lots of ways to think about markets. That's the way I was thinking about the markets recently in SPY and with oil. Hope that helps. We'll talk to you soon. Trade well.